start. When he goes off, that will be the beginning of our race. And he's off, ladies and gentlemen. Reynolds, all out of Grass Prairie Green. Charlie Monte and Manny University of Colorado. Our first quarterfinal race for the men's senior skiers is the snow. Staying close all about all six skiers right side by side. No real separation to speak of at this point. Make it to this stage. It's anybody's race. Look at that. Looking good. Three members of the Craftsbury Green up there. Along with Eric. Out of APU, Sam Adamino, and Charlie. They're big numbers. All eyes on the far side here as our race is raced down. We'll look for them to make that turn up around the final. Under that race, and we'll see who is taking control. Jared Bjornsson, out in front. A lot of folks making their moves here. Samuel Nady right there. Timothy Reynolds, and on the outside here comes Dylan McGuffin. Look at that, eh? And they're off. Quarterfinal heat number two. Michael Stillman of Sun Valley. This is how he's going to do. And that thing's good. And he's going to have a lot of people in the state. Ryan Cook out of Grass Valley Green. Stan Cranston is going to be the first quarterfinal heat. That first race with any indication anybody can take these things. The challenge is, what do you give? What do you hold back? Fuck a room. Three is somewhere around here. Right there, trying to cut that distance. Four, five, six. Not a whole lot of room up there. That's pretty impressive. Off to advance for sure. Good call, Dean Norris. Great idea. <laughs> Let's go, Sky! Go, 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 go! Yes, we for all those racers. So, what do you care? We have got the awards. We will be those at the same time as the men's and the women's team awards. Let's see who has found their way to the front. Looks like Skyler Davis enjoyed the nice lead. A charge coming up on the side, though. Ryan Scott trying to get in there. Michael Sinnott trying to get in there as well. Another nice finish. And they're off. Fair start. Quarterfinal number three. Matt's reason. Eric Wolcott, Tad Elliott, Max Olex, Tyler Cornfield, and Brent Knight. But it out for a emerging theme in these races. It is that it is anybody's race. To make it out of that giant field and to be in these quarterfinals means by definition you have a shot at advancing. Every skier out there knows that. Here they come. One, two, three, four. A little separation there. And not between those top four.
gaining well. A little separation there between one, two, three, four. But they're all still right there in the hunt. Looks like Brian Gregg out front. If I can... Logan Hahnemann out the front right now. Brian Gregg trying to come up on the outside. Look at him move. Eric Packer looking good. Jordan Buto who can hold on. Ah, third. Quarter final number five. This will be a fun one to watch if they pack through. Dakota out of Black Horse Colin Jazz had a band of endurance. Along with Benjamin Sachs that had a fast performance. Alexander Half from Crassbury Green, Torin Coos from Bridger Ski. Raphael Big Tiger out of MTU and Silden Ellison out of Vail. This promises to be an excellent quarterfinal heat. All of these racers enjoying considerable success this week at Soldier Hollow. That is a tough time. We're all right there. Nightly packed. I'm not even sure I would say there's much of a lead on it. Our first game, these six can do it. Especially when it comes to free sprints. Don't know. I'll tell you no. You know? Yeah, it is. Yeah, be horse. Dylan Ellison with a nice lead out there. Dakota, Black Horse, Colin Jazz trying to hang on for second. Alexander Howe right there. But working hard to finish that race, Torrid Coos has had his share of success. Not exactly the way we want to finish the race, but Torrid is a competitor. Torrid Coos on one ski, still skiing faster than I could. Torrid has given us phenomenal races all week long here at Silver Hollow. And here they go, they are on their way, men's semifinals, top three advance to ski one more time, and a final is the goal, three advance, three will be done for the day. This is a power packed field, Eric Bjorns out of APU, Skyler Davis out of Stratton Valley. Michael Sinat out of Sun Valley, Tad Elliott out of Vail, Timothy Reynolds, Crass Free Class. We all know soon enough. Remember, top three will advance. If those first two can hang on, they are assured of moving on. Again, no B final today, my apologies. If I would just read my sheets, I'd be okay. One final, an A final. We do have one correction, like it's with you, I was going to walk along. Huh? That's the only mistake I make, I will be happy. We are looking for these guys to emerge. Round that bar. Eric Bjornsson, comfortably ahead. Tad Elliott. Hang it on. Dakota, trying to get to the third spot. Scott Davis right there as well. Here they go, looking good as they begin, 1.7K. After 
after a full day of racing and merging out of a field of hundreds of skiers, we're down to our second semifinal match. All six seems to be well scratched up. All six right side by side. Here they go. Anybody's in? Digging deep. Matt Ruslan holding on to his third lead. Sylvan Ellison right there. Alexander Howe at a cross parade. And that is as close. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. It is off. Here they go. It all comes down to this 1.7 kilometers. It's all the stand. Six fantastic skiers out there. Three will be on the podium. One on the top part of that podium, and any of these six are capable of being there. Eric Bjornsson, APU. Alexander Howe, Crasbury Green. Tad Elliott, the Silver Elson representing SSC. Elliott, Bjornsson, Black Horse, yeah. Where do they find the energy this late in the day in a fourth race? Still one, two, three. Come on, Dad! Go, Church! Come on, Dad! Yeah, Eric! Yeah, Bjornsson! Yeah, Bjornsson! Come on, Bjornsson! Hi, hi, hi! Yeah, Bjornsson! Come on, Shelly! Actually, that gap has closed a little bit.